Pisces. Welcome to your tarot forecast for January. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Pisces, we're going to take a look at the energy around you at this time. I do say this is for January, but I also say that all my readings on my channel, I do consider them timeless. So whatever the energies are around you at this time, it could be love, it could be general. I don't, we're just going to take whatever comes out here. So we'll see what's going on with you Pisces uh, during this time. So if you'd like to go back and watch past uh, readings, your playlists are below in the description box. So feel free to do that. Tons of stuff down there. How to book a personal reading, decks I'm using, social media. I do readings on Instagram, all kinds of stuff down there. So please feel free to check that out. Okay, Pisces, welcome in. Welcome, welcome. I hope everybody's doing well. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. One more week and then Christmas will be done. I can't believe it. Okay, so Pisces. This is a Zodiac Oracle deck. So let's see what comes out here. If you don't resonate with what comes out, totally fine. Get a sign, element, or planet. Let's see what we have for Pisces at this time. Spirit, please. And we have Jupiter, which is Sagittarius energy. So you could have a Sagittarius around you in some way, shape, or form. And uh, that Jupiter energy is all about luck, expansion, faith, optimism, uh, joy, prosperity, spirituality. So we'll see if that has anything to do with your reading. So the first thing I'm going to do here is get an opening message for you. And then we'll get your energy with this deck also. Go over the bottom of the deck and then we'll do a whole spread on this energy with the tarot here. And then we'll get some closing messages for you from this oracle here. So... Let's see what we have for Pisces at this time, Spirit, please. What is going on with Pisces at this time? What is their opening message, please, for Pisces? What is the opening message for Pisces at this time? I guess that's your card. And we have the tribe, and then we have eight. And eights are all about taking action, communication, movement, travel. And we have the tribe. So that's our opening message. So let's see number eight, um, what the tribe has to say. Community, belonging, being seen and understood by others, like-minded connections, a sense of family and friendship, knowing your place in the world. So it's kind of a good energy. So maybe you're finally uh, finding your place, your like-minded community, a place where you finally belong, I feel. All right, so let's get an energy for you now. Okay, well, we got two there. I only want one. We have one card for Pisces. What is their energy at this time, Spirit, please? Thank you so much. And then we have flexible, number 19, which is 10. And 10s are about endings, but one is always a new beginning. So needing to be flexible um, about something. So let's see what that has to say. It says, teachability, open-mindedness, being adaptable without compromising what's most important. So, hmm. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have to be fair, number 38 which is 11, which is two, which is about unity, two people coming together. I think two people will be coming together for a fair and just resolution here. This does remind me of the justice card. So this may be um, something finally being balanced, um, something finally being fair, just, and right. People coming together, like I said, for a peaceful resolution, closure, that kind of energy, needing to be flexible with one another, open to one another, um, with in this energy could be about communication you know maybe moving forward i have a feeling like eight is about movement action travel that you're finally moving forward um to like a new tribe like a new family new friends a new kind of way of living you know being flexible to the past being flexible to the future to be fair could be something in the justice system in the court system or things finally being balanced and justified and like I said those peaceful resolutions clarity and truth and closure kind of energy because we do have okay I just noticed here that we have eight and then ten and then we have um, eleven but we don't have nine 
So I feel like it's something that you're not stressing about anymore because the nines can be about stress, anxiety, you know, fighting and fighting and fighting and trying to, you know, move on from something. So I feel like you're moving on and there's an ending. Um, and then 11 is kind of like a spiritual number, like on the right path. But then that too, that unity, people coming together with, um, you know, peace, harmony kind of energy. But we do have nine here with Jupiter. I just noticed that. One and eight is nine. And Pisces, you're 12. And your card over here, to be fair, is 12. No, it's 11. So we got 11. So we're eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Wow. <laughs> okay. So. And then 12 reduced to um, three. It's about that, you know, collaboration, teamwork, cooperation, compromise kind of energy. So let's see, what do we have here? So we have the Three of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. So again, here's the teamwork collaboration working together. But this is fast movement forward with the Knight of Swords kind of energy. So taking swift action and moving forward. I, and I have felt that you're moving forward into a new future, a new way of living, a new life, like a new family, friends, tribe, or something here. But yet, you know, this teamwork, collaboration, compromise with the past and, you know, moving forward in the future, being flexible in all ways. So let's get more energy here. I think you're moving forward, you know, moving forward very quickly in something. Yet being kind of flexible at the same time. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. So, and I felt Ten ending. So I definitely feel like there's an ending here. Could have been hurtful and painful at one time. And, but now there's a coming together and there's a needing to be fair in the situation, whether it's past or present. All right, what else for Pisces? The magician. So yeah, and I had felt like this is manifesting a brand new beginning. So, and that's what I felt that you're in the process of manifesting a new beginning for yourself, but you're being flexible towards the past and the future. But you're also moving forward and you're finding new friends, uh, kind of energy, new tribe. That's too many. Seven of Pentacles. So investing wisely, um, but also, also can be an energy of patiently waiting. You know, maybe you had to wait for a time for some reason. Could have been because there was something in the court system here. Um, you know, maybe it was something you invested a lot of time in in the past, but now it's over with the Ten of Swords. You know, it could have been a job, it could have been um, a relationship, but now you're, you know, manifesting a new beginning for yourself, but yet being flexible towards your situation from the past and your situation moving forward. So I feel kind of a very fair and balanced energy here. All right, so I feel like a lot of compromise um, kind of energy. So Ace of Cups, so brand new beginning in love. So again, you could be going into a brand new beginning. It may not be in love, it may just be, you know, a new life for yourself and you're feeling very happy and fulfilled in the new direction that you're going in. Could also be very, uh, you know, spiritual connection also. So let's see what we have with the Fool. So again, taking a leap of faith, jumping right in to this new start. And you could be, could be leaving one situation and starting new with somebody else brand new beginning in love there so let's get a couple more let's get a couple more here the queen of swords so you know standing in your truth clarity um i feel like it's very open honest communication with the past and the future with that to be fair Reminds me of justice about that open communication and balance. So I feel like the Queen of Swords, you're being very open, honest, and truthful with the past energy and also going forward with the future energy as you're starting new. Like everything's out in the open, everything is being discussed, um, kind of energy. But there's some juggling here uh, with the Two of Pentacles. So, you know, maybe a lot to handle right now, but I feel like. Um, a lot going on. Maybe you're clearing one situation from the past and getting that, you know, balanced and straightened out and trying to, trying to get that balance and that energy and balancing out your life in general and then balancing out your new situation moving forward, whether it's just a new life for yourself or a new relationship or a new job or something like that. 
The tribe could be, you know, new work family. It could be a new uh, person in their family. It could be new friends, social groups. I mean, whatever it means for you. So I feel like, I feel like you got a lot going on, but I feel like you're doing okay. I mean, I feel like it's a little bit of a struggle, but you know, you're having truth and clarity. So I think everything's just out in the open. Everything's being discussed, the past, the present, the future. You know, there's no secrets being hidden, but there definitely is something over here that you're moving on from. And then your advice moving forward, here's the Knight of Cups. So keep on moving forward in that energy of truth and clarity, love, compassion kind of energy. Forgiveness kind of energy, healing energy. All right. And the Three of Cups. So, and I think that will lead to a happy life moving forward. Be happiness and joy, celebration, people coming together. Um, every, everybody will be happy in this situation because everybody's being open and truthful and honest moving forward. There's no secrets being hidden here, I, I feel. Not with the Queen of Swords there. And the Knight of Swords. All right, so let's get a couple more for your advice. Yeah, so we got justice. So there it is, making an appearance. And then we have um, temperance. So again, with the Sagittarius energy over here. So you could be dealing, you know, maybe coming to an ending uh, with the Sagittarius here in the, you know, justice system. But, you know, temperance is all about balance, healing, patience, justice, truth, clarity, you know, fair and just to be fair, justice. So I do feel like, you know, everything is, I feel like everything is just to be fair. Everything is fair and balanced and just, or as best as it can be. And I think it's just happy, peaceful resolutions all the way around, you know, with you, your past, if it's with the Sagittarius in your future moving forward. I think everybody's just kind of happy with the outcome moving forward. I mean, I'm not saying it's all, you know, peaches and cream, but it's the best it can be. Um, I don't feel like it's in a negative energy. And I don't know why my palms are like very itchy right now. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so, all right, so let's see. I think you're wanting to just move ahead in life, you know? You don't want to be stuck in the past. All right, so let's see. And if you watch the Sagittarius reading, it was kind of the same energy. So you very well could be dealing with a Sagittarius. So let's see what your possible outcome may be. Pisces. The star. So faith, hope, optimism, healing, wishes and dreams coming true, divinely guided energy. So you're on the right path with the star energy. As long as everything is out in the open, open, honest communication, closure, um, peaceful, fair, teamwork, collaboration, compromise, peaceful resolutions, you know, with the past, present, and future, I think everything will be fine here with the star energy, you know, healing energy. That's a good energy. I feel like going forward, you know, everything uh, will be fine for you. So let's see. So we have the devil. This was in reverse. So... So the devil can be toxic energy, but in reverse. Um, and then we have the two of wands, which is about making plans and decisions for the future. But I feel like the two of wands in reverse, like you've made your decision. And with the devil in reverse, it's like your decision to you know, heal and move out of the toxic energy, whatever it was for you in the past, whether, for, whether it was with the Sagittarius. And I'm not saying it could have been anything bad. It could have been just like, you know, maybe you just didn't connect anymore. Maybe... There wasn't any more um, chemistry between the two of you anymore. A lot of fi fighting, arguing, bickering, you know, over petty things, not seeing eye to eye anymore. I mean, that can be the devil energy. Uh, it could also be, you know, when it's upright, a very fiery, passionate connection. So I definitely feel like there's no more passion in, the, in this past energy. And I feel like you finally made that decision to move away from that energy and go on the path that's more uh, divinely guided for you. Because you see her, she's looking up at the star on her path, on her journey. And I just feel like, every, you know, a lot of healing energy. So, and it may not even be a toxic situation anymore from the past. Maybe by moving on from that and having this, you know, open, honest communication, healing energy. However you've done that, everything is just becoming more aligned for you. You know, you know everything's just... Uh, 
working out for the best as best as, as it can be. So we have here the tower. Yeah, so this could be a shakeup, breakdown, explosion. Could have been this toxic energy here at one time. Fights, arguments, a shock, surprise kind of energy. So the Queen of Wands. So definitely there's that fire energy, Leo Sag Aries. Fiery, passionate kind of energy. Knight of Wands. So moving forward. I feel like you're moving forward away from this fire sign. You know, in your own like strong, fiery, passionate energy. Judgment, yeah, making that final decision here. And this can also be about forgiveness. So forgiving, and you see the devil here, that toxic energy, things that happened in the past. <coughs> My throat's getting scratchy. So healing, forgiveness, um, making a final judgment call on the whole situation, and uh, just kind of moving on from that. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles, working on yourself, I feel, moving forward on what's best for you. So we do have, what is this now? The seven of wands, but it's in reverse. So yeah, you're not not defensive anymore against this person. Oh, I've got a bunch of cards in reverse here. So yeah, so we got the seven and nine of wands in reverse here. So that's kind of an energy of yeah, not fighting anymore, not being defensive on guard or you know putting your walls up against this person anymore. Just kind of letting bygones be bygones. You know, apologizing, forgiveness, healing, all that kind of energy, and just moving on from it. I feel, yeah, eight of cups right after that, moving on from it, just moving on, just knowing, you know, it's not, and there's a peaceful resolution with the handshake, uh, two people coming together, peace, harmony, forgiveness, compromise, peaceful resolutions, just walking away from the situation, no, it's not serving, not fighting anymore, not putting up uh, walls anymore, just letting it go, working on yourself, making that judgment call, moving forward, and very fiery, passionate energy. I feel it could be away from the uh, wand sign or it could just be your energy again being very fiery, passionate energy because of uh, tower moments here. But I feel like all that's being let go of. So we have Aries, we have Leo Sag Aries, Leo Sag Aries, Scorpio. Uh, let's see. And then we have here, uh, let's see, we have Libra Gemini Aquarius, we have Capricorn, we have Sagittarius. We have Libra Gemini Aquarius, we have Gemini Virgo, we have Aquarius, we have Aquarius, Libra. So a lot of different energies here. So, I mean, the signs may not mean anything, but I know people like to hear the signs. So, so you know, and with that Jupiter energy is about, you know, expansion. So I feel like everything is just expanding, you know, finding a new way of, of all this, you know, compromised teamwork you know, uh, forgiveness, peace, harmony, healing energy, um, and that kind of energy. So, all right, so let's see here, Pisces. And it's some closing uh, messages with this deck. Uh, Pisces, if you do like how, how I read, you can please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, hit the bell, you won't miss out. I do four different readings a month. I do a love connection, a singles who's coming towards you, a general channel forecast like this, sometimes love, sometimes not. I do messages from spirit or angel reading. I switch it up every month. And then I also do a new series I started, which is a weekly element energy check-in. So if you're interested in all that, please do hit the bell and you won't miss out. And if you do, thank you. Thank you to everybody who supported the channel, whether you reached out for personal reading, tipped, donated, uh, sent a gift, or just subscribed, whatever you've done. Thank you, thank you for all your support. Couldn't do it without you. So thank you so much. So let's get some messages here now. Savoring pleasure. I fully embrace bliss in my life. So yeah, I think you're going in a much better direction now. And embracing all the new possibilities in your life. And just, you know, taking bubble baths. And just, you know, becoming uh, peaceful and harmonious with your life now. And moving forward. Some of you could be moving forward with a new love because you do have the Ace of Cups there, or it could just be new self-love, self-awareness, uh, spirituality, faith, hope, optimism, a new way of life, just your life in general. And there we have, look, starting fresh. A wonderful new beginning is blossoming in my life. And there you are with the moon energy there, Pisces. So exactly, starting fresh. A wonderful new beginning, yep. And then we have here... Emerging into grace, I open my soul to grace. So being grateful, being graceful, 
um, being appreciative of everything that you did have, everything that you have now, everything you have moving forward, all the lessons you've learned, just being grateful and graceful and being open to opening your soul to new things in this fresh start. And then we have making a difference. My inner light shines far and wide. So, you know, I'm uh, just shy, being who you are, shining your light. That is the, <laughs> that is the motto of my channel. Just, you know, make a difference, be who you are. Let your light shine far and wide. And I do see, you know, the starfish there again with the star energy, faith, hope, optimism, wishes and dreams coming true. Divinely guided energy for you coming in the future. Wow, uh, Pisces, good for you. So, Pisces, I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings, and best of luck to you. And as I always say with my channel, it's to always, always shine your light.